Hello everyone, this is Kooky Wookie here with Flory the Dwarf, um, the She-Dwarf here at Thorin's Hall. We've just completed the tutorial and are about to start in the live world with all the other players. And uh, With me, actually I'm in Thorin's Hall, but down in the sunny slopes of Slendium by the sea is Mac Attack. Hello. So while he's enjoying the coastal waters, clear, calm, and warm, I'm looking over the night sky. Of, it's so uh, pretty here. That's going to give me a failed message for that one. I'm going to have to wait for that quest to redo, but basically we're going to be doing a quest where we talk to Boggy Deep Delver here. Come and stay up, Boggy? Boggy. Boggy Bog? Epic dwarf names here. Boggy. Here is a second. I think I can... Oops. Friends. Woo! I'd have already, I've already actually, if you ever want to know, I'll just show you quickly. Um, Maculin's adding me to a fellowship. So see, you can see are the two members of our fellowship here. And you can set it up so you can actually see him looking around. Right now I only see that he's got the hunter symbol with him. And the little star medallion in the bottom corner of his there it shows that he's the fellowship leader. That's right. I'm in charge, man. Well, Who he's did? the leader. The woman's in charge. <laughs> 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 yes, we are very mature on this channel. We are very mature siblings. Mumbling. Greetings, fair. traveler. Will you oh, stay they changed the. Uh, they definitely changed the stables as well. Oh yeah, everything they did a nice revamp, which makes things actually a lot easier. I can definitely keep a secret, Flossie. Probably haven't been on here for half a year, so. I think I had an aunt named Flossie once. So we're in separate areas, so we're just going to try and finish up as much as we can because we will meet in, where is Gondaman, I believe we meet? Yes. Um, if you open up your map, which the shortcut key is M, uh, you'll see a map. Right now I'm standing in Thorns Hall, so here you can see the entirety of Thorns Hall. That little tiny speck there is me. Uh, you can set up your map by going to filter, ma filter map notes to see what you want, select what you want to see on your map. Um, most areas you can see the whole map. Some areas like caves and hidden rooms, you will have uh, kind of a fog of war that you have to explore and discover stuff. I miss the days when it was all fog of war. That was like my big thing was that I could uh, be fog of war, use the fog of war, and I would have explore everything at like level 25. So explore the whole of the world. And then they removed it, cool. and all my pride was just like smushed. No more could I prove it. <laughs> You're still epic. Sad. I had like the complete map set up except for Moria, which they don't let you in until you're like high level. You have to do an entry quest before that one. <laughs> With Elrond. So what were we going to do for, uh, whatchamacallit's, uh, blah blah blah, the crafting... <laughs> I'm not sure. I haven't gotten that far yet. When, uh, as a dwarf, if you want to be, uh, want to select your crafting, you have to go up to Thorin's Hall, where I was just at. I'm just going to grab a couple quests down here, because I have to talk to Captain Guard, Captain Unar. But, uh... What is the meaning of this? Dire and worrisome circumstances. Hear me out, traveler! Our, oh, where are you? Our armories are unguarded. The Armin Cave is the northwest, very near the great statue of Thorin. Carve the mountain. Go there and look for Vilthar. Well, we will do that, but I'm sure little old Vilthar will be fine for a bit. Greetings, well, Trapper. where's Athol? Will you stay a moment? And we're polishing armor. <laughs> well, that's, oh, that's good. epic. I came down here because I've, I've done these quests before, so um, I know that that one is inside Thorin's Hall. I've made the mistake of skipping it. It's a moment of your time too much. Mm, and we have to fill broken dams. Man, we're falling to pieces. How are things in the south? I'm pretty good. I'm having a little trouble trying to find the uh, trainer person for crafting. Trainer person for crafting. If you go to Selendium, you know where the trainers are for your... Well, I know where the trainers are. I can't find the actual person, though. For the crafting? Okay, right. Okay, you know how there's like a gazebo with all the trainers around it? Go to the left up the long course. winding staircase. Okay, you go up one level and then take a left and they'll be on your oh, left hand right. side. Master of Apprentices, Provisioner. Oh yeah. Is it Master of Apprentices? Yes, yes it was. Okay, let's hear. We got Armor Craft, Metal Smith, Prospector, Taylor. Oh, yeah. Jump the horse. We have Forester. 
I mean, Explorer, which is Taylor, Forrester, Prospector. That'd be a horrible one. Um, Armsman, which is Weaponsmith, Prospector, Woodworker. Tinker, Jeweler, Prospector, Cook. Yeoman, Cook, Farmer, Tailor. I thought the Yeoman used to be the... Uh, Thorin! The okay. Looking at an epic one of Thorin, sorry. Huge, beautiful statue of Thorin. Woodsman, Woodworker, Forrester, Farmer. Historian, Scholar, Weaponsmith, Farmer. I think I might actually do... I'm, I'm debating between Armsman or Armorer. What do you think? Um, well, let me just get down here. Um, Thorin's Hall is massive. Actually, down the far side there, if you went straight down, you find Dwalin on his throne. But we're actually going to hang a right and go to the crafting hall, which is... Actually, you said huge. you were going to be a woodsman, didn't you? Well, here's the thing. There's so many... Um, as a guardian, I will be wearing heavy armor, so being an armorer is really good. But I kind of... I thought that there was a woodworking one that had cooking. Because, you know, mm -hmm. as, as a girl, it's kind of nice to cook. What do you need? It's your... You can be a farmer and a woodworker. I don't think you can be a cook and a far and a woodworker. No, it doesn't seem like it. So we can do... You can be the woodworker if you want, and I'll be the armorer, and I'll make you clothes. Right. I'll be the woodsman, then. Since be my craft well, anyways. No. You have Train. Time. Okay, so Ma uh, so Maculin is going to be a woodsman because he's a hunter, so they're going to use that... Um, basically, Forester builds into woodworker, and then there's farmer as well. So that means you can make anything from bows to crossbows to sh uh, shield carvings... All kinds of cool stuff. I'm probably going to be an armorer because I use heavy armor and I also use shields, which are all in metalsmith. Plus, I can make bear traps and stuff for um, the hunter. So, I'm going to be an armorer. I can also be a tailor. It also has tailor. Um, so, where uh, Maculin has forester, which also does preparing of hides, he can make the hides and I can sew them together to make medium armor and light armor as a tailor. I am at your service. Which in, uh, if you notice, when you pick which trade you want to be, it does it in the language of the person you're asking. So there's Dwarvish. Pretty cool. So I'm going to train up on that. I'm going to do that. gives you for your <laughs> three uh, hour tour. Well, come. You have come it's like a three hour tour. Intro quests for all for three. So if you notice on my map, now I have these little rings that have popped up. If it's nice that they actually give you the stuff now. They used to not give you the stuff. <laughs> yeah, you used to have to go get stuff. But this one, they're going to give me a crate. Um, so this is introduction to prospecting. So they give me a little inferior tools. You want to replace those pretty quick. You can equip them by just right-hand clicking, and it shows up here in your tool equip bar. Then if I open the crate they gave me, it'll unlock the quest. All right, so they want me to make a copper and tin ingot. Um, I will admit, finding the metalsmith, the forges, can be a little tricky. It's up this huge staircase to the left because dwarfs are great at forging. So check out Thorin's forging hall. It is epic. Pretty awesome. So I'm just going to go find a forge and make myself an ingot. Actually, two ingots. So you just right-click the forge, pops up your crafting window. You select the tab you want to use. I'm going to be doing some smelting, so I want to make all. I've asked, they asked me for one copper and one tin. And one tin ingot. Beauteous. A little warm here by the Superior Forge. <laughs> Molten lava is a bit toasty. We cook s'mores here in winter. It's always winter here. What I'm actually going to do the introductory to Metalsmith one while I'm here as well. I'm also thankful that they actually have it so you can level up now with this quest, because it used to be that you didn't level up with it, and that was rather annoying. Yeah, because you do do, especially later on, you do a, a heap load of crafting. And actually, if you complete all three, which we're going to do, um, you get crafting packs, which go towards building you things, which is kind of handy. So I'm actually going to do a Metalsmith. And if I look at the thing, they want me to make craft a bronze chain link. So you click that and make away. I equipped my smithing tools. Okay, and then they want you to make a bronze helm. So that's under heavy armor, bronze helm. And you can actually choose. You can have a regular one, a dwarf make one, or an elven one. And I'm going to do dwarf make. Actually, for this one, they're going to want me to do the regular one. So I'll just do a straight up bronze helm. But later on, you can choose. 
And I'm actually going to put in a request. When you get your crafting packs, um, I'm trying to think, would you be able to make me an epic weapon and I'll make you a cape? Sure. I, I, well, actually, for the weapon, I could only make a bow right now. Oh, I will see. eventually, though, once I get some more stuff. I, I can only well, make the wood Well, you get the, the apprentice stuff. packs. Did you go to the Master of Apprentices and do that second quest? Ooh, break a leg. <laughs> second quest? Oops, uh, that was a mistake. Do you want some prospector tools? Um, sure, yeah, that'd be good. Because I accidentally bought them by accident. Not a problem. I can give you some money to pay for them. And woodworking tools. Well met, we I don't really care about the farming tools. Uh, if you do the farming quest... Um, you'll be able to go back to the Master of Apprentices, and they'll have another quest, and you literally click on them, and they'll say you accept the quest, and then you click on them again, and you're finished. They give you apprentice packs, and you use them to make free stuff. Ah, oh, nice. Well so I'm just going to do the tailoring one now, which will make me a cape, okay. if that. I recall. Yes. Let's grab my tailoring tools. And for tailor, you don't want a forge. You want a workbench. Awesome tailoring moment. Yes, I'm a seamstress, a she dwarf seamstress. So I need to make a leather pad. Kind of see here. Oh, I think it went too quickly, but if you look, you can actually see me pull out all my thread and stuff. It's also always been fun that with the crafting, you can also have the track crafting type scene. You can only cra track one kind of crafting item at, the, at a time. Right now, I'm tracking craft wood. Which is nice. All right. So now I have to go back to the person who gave me the quest. <laughs> that part I know, because they had that from day one. <laughs> okay, so we've just completed a deed. Once you've done your first three apprentice ones, it uh, gives you a title. I'm the student of metalwork. I'm and there a student are, to you. Yes, I'm just a student. You can see here, this is our deed logs. This is for class and race. And you just follow these neat little clips at the bottom to choose which deeds you want to view how what your progress is. So this is uh, my deed. Uh, 